get into some division winner picks. Tyler, I'll let you take it first. All right. Well, wait, we're going to start with the AL Central. So for our fans uh, and new listeners, I'm going to go ahead and name the teams in the division. Just in case if, you know, you, you need a little refresher. So you got the White Sox, the <laughs> <Yeah>. Guardians. What? <laughs> Me, yeah, I need a refresher. I know nothing about baseball. <laughs> I played it for 18 so years. You got the White nothing Sox. about the major leagues. So you got the White Sox, you got the Guardians, you got the Tigers, Royals, uh, and the Twins. To be honest with you, the AL Central is always a tough one. I think that you had the Guardians uh, take this division last year, which I don't think that anybody – had winning the division, and I'm gonna have them winning it again. I think that the Guardians, you know, the White Sox have had, you know, their manager concerns. I'm just not really a fan of him. Uh, I think that the Twins have been a couple of players away from getting it, but I'm gonna go with the Cleveland Guardians. I think they go back to back when they L Central. Go I'm gonna White go Sox, White baby. Sox. There we no. go. Hey, that's smart man. Smart You're a bandwagon right. along with Chet. <laughs> no, no hey. bandwagon, but they did replace their manager. Who I do think was holding them back. They got a, a new, uh, younger coach. I think he'll get the talent out of those guys. But they did lose Jose Abreu, and I think he was kind of the glue of yep. the team. So that does concern me. Uh, I do like what the Guardians have pitching wise, but That's I think this I division's nobody gets the ninety all. wins in this division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it gets to eighty five. Yeah, it's gonna all be like right, three or four ninety win teams. All right, next, so we got the AL East. You got the Rays, Blue Jays, Yankees, Orioles, and Red Sox. And the AL East is always loaded. Uh, I think that a lot of people are going to pick the Yankees, obviously, because of their star power. The Rays, though, a little bit inconsistent. But you know what? Going to do it. Toronto is going to win this division, baby. Vlade Guerrero Jr., Kevin Gossman, they've been close. Give me Toronto. Hmm. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. Hmm. I I'm think going it's bounce close. back year, bounce back year. The Red Sox, me and Futch riding that <laughs> Red Sox last. train, baby. What about the Orioles, man? I thought you were nah, gonna go to the Red Orioles. Sox. The Orioles go. might make the playoffs. Uh, that's gonna be actually the Rays might kind of fall off this year. I'll I'll join you on the Jays because I think the Orioles could overtake the Rays. I think the the Red Sox. I hate to do this to you, Jacob. They're probably the likely out of these teams to hey, be last. <laughs> you keep doubting them, Tyler. You keep doubting them. Just they don't have any pitching. Well, they'll figure it out. I got faith. <laughs> they did sign Justin Turner though, but they also lost, you know, their best shortstop that they had in a couple of years. Well, all right. Hit us with the next one. All right, next one. I'm sure that you're familiar with this division since you're, you know, an Astros fan. Uh, AL West, you got the Mariners, you got the Astros, Rangers, Angels, Athletics. I think we all know who's going to come in last, the A's. They're going to be a dumpster fire again this season. The Angels, Shoei Otani and all that, but they're probably going to finish four for 30 again and let us down. The Rangers, though, could be a sneaky pick again. They did uh, add uh, Nathan Navaldi and also Jacob deGrom. But in the end, this is Astros. Astros run this uh, AL West. I think that the Mariners could have a chance, but they're still a couple of pitchers away from really being dominant. They do have the star power, especially with Julio Rodriguez. But Houston Astros, I know that they lost uh, Justin Verlander. I know that they lost Yuli Gurriel. But they still got who's your old daddy, Jordan Alvarez, in the lineup. So I got to go with this Astros. Baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sticking on the Astros train just because I moved closer to Dallas. Still rolling with the Strohs, baby. <laughs> All right, make it a three-peat uh, for the yes. Strohs. But Seattle will be on their tail. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. And we saw that. All game. right. We did. And it was a complete yeah, blowout. Yeah, Astros blew them out. <laughs> Choo-choo. All right, Tyler. It wasn't even close. One. All right, we got the AL done. Now we'll go on to the NL, and we'll start off with the lovely NL Central. We got the Cubs. We got the Pirates. We already know who's probably going to finish last. It's going to be the Pirates. They probably nah, man. They go pick Derek. Oh, uh, I guess they get. <laughs> they're going to they're going to pick Dylan Cruz, and they're going to be continuing. yeah. And they're going to promote the him by September. <laughs> <laughs> they got the yeah. They're going to put him on posters throughout their whole entire city. They got they're the Reds, Cardinals, and Brewers. Cubs got better, obviously, with Swanson uh, and Cody Bellinger uh, signing, but I think that there's still a couple of uh, players away. So 
the Pirates and Reds are probably going to be the, the bottom feeders of the, this division. I think it's going to be a two-headed race with the Cardinals and the Brewers. But I'm going to go with the Cardinals again. I think that Brewers, you just know, their offense just – I just can't really get behind their offense. They have one of the best pitching rotations in all the league, but they're – I feel like every time that it gets down to the season and in the postseason, their offense just fizzles out. So give me the Cardinals. Okay. I agree with okay. you there. Cardinals should take this one. They're the most balanced team. They got Jordan Walker coming up. He could be the next yep. star, um, as if that team needs any more young talent. So uh, pretty – they're setting up for a dynasty run, in my opinion, because the Cubs hit reset and – um Cincinnati and Pittsburgh don't really know what they're yeah, doing. They got their catcher. <laughs> they got a uh, Contreras as well. So not too yeah. much of a, a downfall from there. the retirement of Yachty. Yeah, I think so. they upgraded there, and uh, both Contreras brothers are now in the Central because of a interesting trade by the Braves. So I think that does bode well for Milwaukee, but I, I think uh, St. Louis gets it done. So I want to pick the Reds. Okay, just because we had our boy Logan Tanner on. He's in the Reds. Oh, that's yeah, right. That's right. I got to show some loyalty. Years. Yeah, I got to right. show some loyalty. But yeah. he's not on the Reds yet. So, um, I'm going to be different. I'm going Brewers. Let's go okay. Milwaukee. Biloxi Shuckers repping. That's right. <laughs> they did just call up their top prospect. That was an LSU commit. And spurned dude for the money but here he is he screwed up he could have been on a national championship winning team so <laughs> well he's gonna be and making seven hundred thousand dollars this year <laughs> he could have made seven hundred thousand dollars in nil money yeah uh, nil is right there around the corner on. pause real quick lsu makes it to omaha y'all want to go we gonna make it happen shoot might be it's the always year. been a bucket list for me but if the funds chance. are there then sure we gotta figure it out all right continue tyler all right, we'll go on now to the East. Uh, this is a division that Wade and myself are familiar of because of the Braves, Braves have completely owned this division for the past five years. I know that we not, got knocked out by the Phillies, but they didn't win the World Series, so it doesn't matter. All right, Phillies, Nationals, Marlins, Braves, and the Mets. Mets got a tough blow in the World Baseball Classic. They lost Edwin Diaz. Uh, didn't Their season didn't even start, and I feel like the Mets are already metting. Uh, but I think that the Mets, uh, they do have a powerful lineup. They did lose uh, one of their top uh, pitchers uh, in Jacob DeGrom. They're going to have to find uh, – they're going to have to puzzle piece, uh, you know, who's going to be their closer now with Edwin Diaz on the shelf. I think that the Phillies, they definitely added some star power. Uh, they got Tywon Walker. They got a couple of key pitchers as well. I think that their pitching rotation is going to be one of the most dominant in baseball. They shine. Uh, they got Trey Turner. Trey Turner balled out in, in the WBC. If he can continue doing that, then the Phillies are going to be another contention. We already know the Nationals are going to be. They've been in Tank City since like the since they won the World Series at this rate. The Marlins, they're a couple of pieces away. I think that they definitely have a young core. I think it's going to take some time. Uh, the Braves, uh, they made a couple of interesting moves. They lost Dansby Swanson, like you mentioned, Wade. Uh, they lost. Uh, William Contreras, uh, but they did get uh, Sean Murphy. Um, as much as I want to pick the Braves, I just feel like uh, they're just something brewing about this Phillies team. I think that the Phillies, it's hard to win this division six years in a row. I think that they're going to get a new face, uh, given the Philadelphia Phillies uh, winning this division. Yeah, I agree with the Phillies as well. I thought you might go Mets, um, but no. I'm going to stick stick with my pick in the Phillies. I think that uh, they – Got very close to winning it all just a year ago, and they added the necessary pieces. Uh, the best free agent signing yeah. out there was Trey Turner. They yeah, went and got really. him. And then uh, Taiwan Walker and Aaron Nola and um, Zach Wheeler. I mean, that's a very good that's pitching scary. trio right there. Uh, it kind of duels the Mets, what they have and what the Braves had in Freed and, and Strider. So lots of good talent in this division. Um, I think there's potential for the top three teams to make the playoffs. Uh, but I, I think it'll get Phillies, Braves, and Mets, but I think it'll all be within like three or four games. I want to take the Braves, but your boys traded away. My boy, Dan B. Swanson. So I'm going Phillies. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go to the Cubs. Didn't pick the Cubs to win the division because of that. We can't I publish this it. episode to uh, anywhere where our – 
old uh, fa- Philly fanatics can see it. So we can't. What? Uh, we picked the Phillies. What's wrong with that? Because <laughs> we gave them a lot of crap last year. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah, I'll go with the Phillies. All right, Ty. What's the last one? All right, last one. We got the NOS. You got the Padres, who are absolutely going to be loaded this year uh, with talent. You got the Giants, Rockies, Dodgers, uh, and Diamondbacks. It's been the Dodgers division, but I got to go with the talent of the Padres. I know that the Dodgers. Uh, I think that. Trey Turner, losing Trey Turner and just and Justin Turner, you know the two Turner boys, and you losing Cody Bellinger. They lost a little bit of firepower in that offense. You still got Freddie Freeman. You still got Mookie Betts. You still got a, a really solid uh, pitching staff uh, with Kershaw, Julio Urias as well. But the Padres are absolutely loaded, and they're getting Tatis Jr. back. So I'm gonna go. I was gonna ask, is he able to play? Is he allowed yeah. to play? He's been in he's spring training, so that's my assumption. He's allowed to play on April 20. 20- first okay so he misses like what two he weeks? misses the first three weeks yeah it's not gonna this be that posh, it's 180 they, they've had other season. star power around him so they're yeah. fine but see that's what that's why baseball season is too long like the fact that we just scoffed at you know one of the best players missing three weeks of the season like if that was football we would be picking the dodgers right now <laughs> yeah really i, I would be yeah. picking the dodgers and i'm, I'm gonna say the dodgers though and yeah. i just think that this dynasty is not ready to end quite yet, much like the Houston Astros. They lost some key pieces, and the teams behind them added a lot of pieces. But, um, you know, the Astros and the Braves really have something special going right now. And they just, um, and the Dodgers are in that group with them, where it just seems to be their division on lock, and they've got balance on both sides of the ball. It'll be very close. Um, I actually think that these two teams could have the best two records in the NL because of how weak the remainder of that division has gotten with the Diamondbacks in rebuild mode as well as the Rockies and the Giants kind of are in no man's land. So I think both teams will have 95 wins, but I do think the Dodgers will will win. I'm going Padres. Tatis, 